What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Deadbolt. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. I think we're coming up on the end of the game. I'm not 100% positive about that because I don't know a lot of stuff about things, but I do know a lot about this lamp and how I can flick it on and off. So that's pretty funsies. Let's sit down in our chair and find out what we're doing today. The flames stay extinguished, but a voice speaks. He cannot be free. I cannot forgive a man undead. Cannot live with me. The candles will support from above, but they have limited ammunition. I will have to make sure I use their help conservatively. You know, we're not going to rely on the candles at all. We're just going to do this thing straight. We are the Reaper. We are the Reaper. We're going to do this gangster mode. Nobody's going to stop us. We're going in. We're going to push the candles out of the way. We're taking our vengeance. We spent the entire game. We are so close. We will be Wormstead. That's how I imagine his voice in my head. Yeah, they built themselves a little zombie death crazy escape tunnel thing. I wonder if I can take him with the scythe. I'm gonna try. Try to spin up on me, but nah, we don't play it like that. We don't play it like that. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna bait them down. And as they come through the door, they are just gonna get cloven like the hooves. Oh, she closed the door on herself. She can't see with the assault rifle. I could have gone up and probably done some more awesome stuff, but is she gonna come down? No. Well, she did now. Oh, shit! My reaper brains are all over the walls. I thought that would work better, but apparently the door on the left was not the same as the door on the right, which was an auto door, which is a little upsetting, but I can make it work. I bet they come down here. I bet they come down here. Come on. Take cover for a second, and after you take cover for a second, you're definitely going to come down these stairs, and you're definitely going to get scythed in the face. Like, 100%, it's going to happen. I guess I could just vent a little. I don't like that entrance, but that's a lot of guns up there, by the way. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what went wrong right there. I I went up to try and get the dog, and then nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. That was one of those deaths that I really have no explanation for you, except that, like, my brain, it sent the signal to my hand to do the thing that it was supposed to do, and then my hand was like, nah, gee, I don't feel like doing that today. I was like, are you sure, Hand? Because I feel like you should probably do this for me. I need you to help me out with this for a minute. Get phalangeal or whatever. Phalangeal. Oh, go. Uh, let's take her. Let's take her. She's in cover. We got this. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. My lack of foresight getting me in trouble again. Death! So we have a machine gun now. A bursty rifle, as it were. I think I'll probably... It's got auto doors on the side, so we should be able to go in there and take her out. Oh my god, there's so many guns and I want them all. Can I claim all of the guns for myself? Because we need a bigger backpack. She's down, so now we get to do some weapon selection and decide what we want to play around with. We got bolt actions, we got Tommy guns, got all kinds of good shit over here. Combat shotguns, grenade launchers in huge quantities. Can I see the other building from over here? Like, can I grenade launcher people? I don't think that's going to work. We may want to go with the bolt action. May want to go with the bolt action. We have sniper support, but ain't nobody need that noise. I am the sniper. I claim all the kills. I am the reaper. So down she goes. Down he goes. They'll probably come outside at some point. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. I sort of expected it to. Either way, we've got more bolt action rifles than I even remotely know what to do with, so... We should be able to tap a couple of these melons and make sure that the undead are handled before we go anywhere else. Ooh, there was one left. Headshots do take them out. I was worried that headshots wouldn't. I could let the candles have all the fun here, but I just, I have trouble assigning myself to that. It's my turn to have fun. I am in the place where we have the funses. I do like this 10 millimeter pistol. This big giant pistol makes me happy for some reason. It might be overcompensating, but damn, it's a badass pistol. Like, black ow, black ow. They have so much of that druggy stuff over here. You know, we could just betray the Reaper and then become like a super badass drug dealer or something, make tons of money. That is sketchy as shit. I have no idea how I'm going to make this happen. Uh, I have a rough idea. Maybe if we use the Tommy gun to shoot through the floor, we can bait them all down to the floor below. And then we can run back down to the bottom floor and we can engage from there, hopefully. That's looking 
I think that's what I'm going to attempt here. We don't really have the room for combat shotgun. We don't really have room for the grenade launcher. I think all of those things are going to result in me being dead. Speaking of which, this building doesn't seem very structurally sound. You'd think it would need, like, down where our car is parked, it would need some kind of support strut or something in order to make that work better. Yeah, double Tommy guns. There we go. I love the Tommy gun. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the channel, but the Tommy gun is my favorite firearm of, like, all time. I've never shot one. I want to shoot one. It would be super rad. There's just something badass about it with the drum mag and it's just... Bah, 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 it's just a cool gun. Alright, so he's down. Next hope would be that they don't come down. Maybe I can kill them, though, before they do. Oh, stand by the window. Come to my window. You got this. Whenever I sing, my cat thinks I'm calling him. Ooh, she almost got us. We got no bullets left, though. Oh, shit. That's not good. Snag that. Oh, it was so late. And down she goes. She's been handled. Problem solved. So now what do we do? I think we've killed everybody. It says find information. We should walk through the big-ass portal, I bet. We should walk through the big-ass portal. I'm gonna check for information, though, just in case I've missed out. But I'm pretty sure we're supposed to walk through the big-ass portal. And in so doing, we will solidify our victory for the Reaper. The Reap Emperor. The Re Emperor? Oh, shit, no. Run away! Oh, what is happening right now? I don't like this. This is not going to go well for me. Oh, shit. It was a bat explosion. A crow explosion? That works. A crosion? Crosion sounds pretty good. I'm kind of wondering if this is going to. Oh, we're going in. Stargate. Everybody, Stargate. Home sweet home. Why are there geometrical figures floating in the background? I don't feel so solid about this. Home sweet home. Looks like I can go through the well. Oh, there's candles. Practicing some kind of doggy style yoga. Obviously, for the bottom roll. Come, do not fear my true form. There's a big old pile of candles with a skeleton under it. The figure glows with life. I was not expecting guests, said the figure in a familiar tone. I've spoken to you so long. My home, but I have shared my warmth with you before, as I have done for all who roam. Ibzan comes, crackled the flames. I cannot stop him. I am not the god of death. Perhaps you'll share this coffin, grim and dim. The word that you would have used right there. Ooh. He is already here, spoke the flames. He cannot be free. I cannot forgive. A man undead cannot live with me. Damask. That's the word. Let me see you, friend. I just want to talk. I bet he doesn't. I bet he wants to shoot me in the face. Judging from the rest of the game, there's been a whole lot of shooting in the face and not a whole lot of talking. So I'm pretty sure this is all a ruse, a ruse, as they call it in the hood. So if I pop out from back here... Yeah, I was right. He murdered me. He didn't want to talk. He wanted to let his barrel talk, and that was the only thing that was going to be doing any conversation. Asshole. See, two can play at that game. Two can play at that game. Oh, we got death and taxes now. This is my home court advantage. I know death and taxes. I got death and taxes down all day. Poor aim. And a poor reaper. Considering I've killed you twice, your, your KD ratio is not looking so good right now, man, for the shit-talking. It is not looking amazing.
Oh man, they went inside the room that I was gonna go inside of. Looks like there's another gun over here. What is this? The headhunter? I think the headhunter does like quadruple damage to the tops of enemies' heads. Or any part of their head, really. We've got door cover right here, so I think I'll make use. There it is. So two kills on that side. I might have to kill off his retinue before we do anything else, like all his little homies that he's hanging out with. Might make my life easier. I'm going to headhunt this guy with the sledgehammer from this side over here. There it is. Perfect. Maybe I should have ran the headhunter more frequently. It looks like it's got pretty good accuracy. Seems like the kind of gun that gets things done and provides fun. That room's going to be a little troublesome, but I'll deal with that in a minute. He's down. Okay, so he's down. Death and taxes back out. He's going to go upstairs. If I could pop out behind him and give him like four to the back of the head. I think we got, although I don't even know if I'm supposed to be killing him over and over and over again. There might be some secret here, like a phylactery thing I'm not locking in on. No! We died simultaneously? Oh, that's upsetting. You got that dead man's trigger. So I guess I'll clear, I'm going to clear the little guys first. I don't think he's got very good hearing, so if I can kill off these little dudes one by one, I think we should be like, hey, okay. Bat. Taken care of. Grab Headhunter. Because I think this one's going to be useful for taking him out. If I can land those headshots every single time when he comes out of his tele... <gasps> A scythe? Well, nobody said I was going to have that. Oh, shit. I hath wasted my Headhunter. I am no longer the Headhunter. I am probably like the secondary or the tertiary hunter. The Lieutenant Hunter, as it were. Sorry, pal. It's your brains all over the wall, or it's my brain. Speaking of which, why do all these skeletons have brains? you think they wouldn't need them. Ooh, two down. Poor aim and a poor reaper. Dude, I've hit you with two. I've got you with deuces on these headshots. And you're still talking trash. Got them aligned up at the top. I bet they'll stop fiddling around in a minute, though. I think she got me a little isolated right now, and that makes me nervous. You, though. You look like a victim. It's not a 32 round, kind of like a 357 round. Aren't they, like, similar? I don't know anything about guns. I figured I'd ask. Should probably grab death and taxes, but... So he found the dead body down there. And he's now joined the dead body. It has become a pile. I don't know if the 32 fires fast enough for me to kill this guy before he turns around and whacks me. We may need something a little bit heavier. Something with a little bit more girth to it. This all seems like a bad plan, though. This has all the trademarks, all the hallmarks of a bad plan. So we draw him up to here. He's going to take cover and fiddle around. I'll take death and taxes. How many times do I have to kill this guy? He seems kind of immune, if you know what I mean, to death. He seems quite impervious to it. Then again, being dead, I would assume, would make you pretty good at being not dead. Yeah, it looks like we gotta get him again. Those guys are bullet soaks. And since we gotta kill them all anyways... Hmm... I'm not trying to die at this point. We've made it this far. I would really prefer not to become a corpse anytime soon. So I closed him into the room. Oh, he let him out. 
keep running until Ibzan disengages. Not gonna have much of a choice because I think he's probably able to get me from a distance. There we go. So three down on him. Only got four bullets left. I don't know if that's enough for Ibsan. With the headshots, maybe. But Sans headshots, like if I just spray and pray into the side of him, I don't think that's going to work. Ooh, it worked. I'm not here for you, Reaper. Oh, he came back again. Man, this guy's got extra lives. Mad extra lives. I think we may want to pick up something like the scythe. Just something to supplement our ammunition situation. Came up to the top. They're going to see me down here. They see me jumping off the balcony. Trying to hold my scythe because it's low down and dirty. Oh. I didn't think that was going to work. I did not think that was going to work at all. We might have to take Ibsan down like thematically with our scythe. I would prefer it. We got the Revenant. I don't know what that does, but hopefully it hurts things. I'm going to wait for him to have his back turned. I'm going to go be a low down dirty back shooter. Is that it? I don't think he came back. Our other amigo's over here, so I guess we'll handle him. Might be safer to do it from the balcony, actually. Be a shame to get killed right here. Perfect. Is that all of them? Hmm, somebody's missing. Not seeing anything. Oh, there's Ibzan over there. I'm gonna stand on the roof like a G and pop him. It's so whoa. And he dies. Guess we gotta talk to the flames now. Hey, how's it going, Reaper buddy? No. You've worked so hard, and I think it is time for a rest. Yay, we get to have nap time. Is it snacks? Is it like the mid portion of like church where you get a snack right in the middle? Hope so. Like snacks. I also like grape juice. Grape juice is hella good. It's just the dankity danks. Huh. I guess that's the end of the game. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for Deadbolt, which was actually a really, really fun series. I was looking forward to this one. I'm glad that I got to play it on the channel. It's always really, really cool to get to throw down on indie games that are of a superior quality to the ones I frequently get spammed at me. I will see you all in whatever comes next. I don't really know what I'm going to be playing around with here in the near future. My name is Splattercat. If you wanted to see other things, I got playlists. I got all kinds of stuff down below. Bye, everybody. I'll see you all next time.